Hey everyone, it's Tracy and today I am talking about, and I didn't think that after all this time that I would still <clears throat> be doing a video like this, but I just had my third pingulecula, say that 10 times real fast, um, my third pingulecula surgery with Dr. Galani. And Dr. Galani is at Galani Vision Institute in Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, if you're watching this, it's probably because you have a ping or a pterygium or you saw my other videos. Because usually people who have them know they have them and then they want to do what they can to get them removed. So if you're just randomly watching this video, uh, I noticed a, <clears throat> like a kind of yellow fleshy thing on my eye about four years ago, something like that. And uh, I went to an optometrist and an ophthalmologist, not really sure about the difference there, but, um, and the guy laughed at me because I was like, what is it? Is it dangerous? And he laughed and he said, no, it's just a pingulecula and, um, you know, it won't hurt your eye, whatever, like just leave. But for me, it was more about like what it looked like. And then, um, and if you don't know, so I'll tell you, I have definitions of what a pingulecula and pterygiums are gross on the eyes, um, the conjunctiva, that's the white part of your eyes, the clearing cover over the white part of the eye. Pingulecula is a yellowish raised growth on the conjunctiva it's usually on the side of the eye near your nose, so on both these sides, but can happen on the other sides too. A pingulecula is a deposit of protein, fat, or calcium. A pterygium is a growth of fleshy tissue. It has blood vessels in it, and that may start as a pingulecula. It can remain small or grow large enough to cover part of the cornea. When this happens, it can affect your vision. And both pingulecula and pterygium are believed to be caused by a combination of exposure to ultraviolet light from the sun, wind, and dust. And I know also <clears throat> LASIK and having dry eye. And I think too, mine was hereditary. Looking back, I, we didn't, you know, my dad had it. Now I know what it was, but uh, you know, he had like these raised yellowish bumps on his eyes. So, you know, who knows where it originates from? Like I said, that's what they believe. They don't know. And I know, I'll tell you a story about two women that were there when I got mine done this time. Uh, and she had a bad LASIK experience like three years ago. And she didn't have um, pingulecula's until that time. And then she got severe dry eye. And um, so she's been on quite the journey for the past three years uh, and she reached out to me. So when this all started for me, I went down this rabbit hole looking to find, you know, how I could get rid of it. And there is a surgery um, where they take like skin from underneath your eye and then they take off the pingulecula or pterygium and then put that there and then they stitch it. And that, so I had gone to a cornea specialist because uh, the one in the corner of this eye was encroaching on my cornea because it can actually grow over the cornea and then that's how it causes vision problems and that's when you have to get it done. Otherwise, it's just considered cosmetic. And so you have to pay out of pocket to get it removed because they consider it a cosmetic procedure. Uh, at this point, though, um, it was causing me a lot of anxiety because, you know, once you know something, then it's what you focus on. It's interesting with these because um, there's a guy at my work. And now if you have it and you know you have it and people who are watching this that do have it will understand. The first thing you do is look at other people's eyes. And, you know, a lot of times you think it to yourself, well, don't you know you have it? pterygium or a pingulecula, you know, and he has a large one and it's on the side of his eyes and his is like red. Mine are more yellowish uh, to my eye 
And you know, maybe other people didn't even notice it unless it was inflamed. It can cause like dry eyes and you know, or people would comment like saying, wow, your eyes are really red today. And then I ended also ended up with a uh, chronic dry eye. I mean, I would get wake up in the middle of the night, even though I you know, put drops in before I went to bed, my eyes were closed because I was sleeping. I would wear like a mask over my eye and I would have to put drops in my eyes. And I ended up on restasis. So it became like, for me, like it consumed my life because it, it never went away because my eyes were dry all the time. And then they would be red and inflamed because of the pterygiums uh, or pingulaculus. Um, and then, you know, I started noticing more. To me, it seemed like they just came on, but I think most of the time they start growing and you don't even notice them. And then when you do, it's all you can look at. And then when you do notice and you want to figure out how to get rid of them, then you start going down some rabbit hole and researching and looking for videos and you know it consumes your life and everyone I've talked to uh, they were the same way and I couldn't find videos so when I found Dr. Galani three and a half years ago so when I went to the cornea specialist I said I wanted that surgery and he said Tracy um, it can take up to eight months to heal and it may even take longer and it may even look worse than what it does now and I was still willing to go ahead with it that's how desperate I was um but then but I'm glad now that he said no because I wouldn't have found Dr. Galani had he done it and um you know and then who knows where it would be then but uh so I found Dr. Galani I did tons of research and I am so grateful that I found him, I just told him, so I just had the third ping done. I had this one done first, I had this one done second in the corners, and then I just had this one done. And this one was probably my largest one. I don't know if it was this one or this one, uh, but I told him that after this third surgery, I feel like I'm back to who I was before all this started. Uh, you know, I don't think about it anymore. I don't, I don't have dry eye. Uh, he did a probing proce procedure and plus when you get, so he uses an amniotic membrane. He does not, and he uses a no stitch procedure. It's actually glued on. So it's an amniotic membrane glued on, but he takes out the pingulacula, the pterygium, you know, at its root because it starts like at the corner and then it wings out. And that's the meaning of pingulacular trigium. I think it means like the wing of a bird or something, <clears throat> excuse me, um, because it starts like small and kind of goes like this. That's what they look like. Um, so I found Dr. Galani and again, I was kind of willing to do a, he's in Jacksonville, Florida. And, um, but I had a, a session with him over the phone. I had sent all my, you know, medical records for my eyes and stuff there. And he made a plan for me and I flew to Jacksonville. My mom came with me. She was very supportive and it was amazing. And so since then I went back like a year later for this corner. And then I just went back. I was supposed to go back last March 17th. And just the week before was when everything started shutting down because of the virus. And so I said, Oh, I, you know, I'm going to have to cancel now, but then, you know, I'll be there in about a month when all this blows over. Well, we know how that turned out. So finally I got to go, uh, just in March again, where, what, yeah. Or was it April? Maybe the first week, of, it was the first week of April. Yes. So almost a year to the day that I was supposed to go before. And, um, when I first made my first video, uh, if you watch it, it's up, uh, yeah, I was helping, I was going through this journey and I just wanted to tape it because I know I was looking for information and I couldn't find much. And I definitely did find somebody who like went before, you know, show before they went and then afterwards and how it all turned out. Usually I saw like a before or the surgery, but then there was never any follow-up and 
what I know is uh, I've talked to over uh, at least, I mean, I would say at least 200 people have reached out to me because I offer to, you know, answer anybody's questions that they want. And it's just because I've been there and I know what it's like. And um, uh, a girl, Annie, reached out to me and she was from Utah. And she's the one that has been through this LASIK experience. Um, and, you know, it's just been hell for her for the past three years. She wanted to get LASIK. She's a mom, has three kids, you know, her very supportive husband. Um, and she was getting LASIK for herself, you know, to feel better. She didn't have to wear glasses and stuff. Well, it turned out that it wasn't right for her. And she's had all these complications since. And then she has pinguleculus now and um, dry eye. And so uh, she had seen my video and then so did Lee. And Lee reached out to me like two years ago and never heard from her. And then I just heard from her. Uh, she had asked like, um, she said she had an opportunity to go. Oh, it was on the seventh was our surgery date. And Lee actually lives in Minnesota and lives only 15 minutes away from me. And so I said, well, I'm going to be there. And Annie got the same, she wanted to go too. And so we all ended up going at the same time. So I got to meet them in person, which was really fun for me because these people reach out and it was great to, you know, meet them and talk to them. And, you know, they thanked me for my video because they said without that, they wouldn't have, you know, known about it or gone to Dr. Galani. Um, and so, you know, they were just like, you know, thank you for the videos. And so that's why I'm doing this one again. For me, I would just move on living my life and nobody would even know probably that I had, uh, you know, my third pingulacula surgery. But somehow I've found myself as kind of a, ping spokesperson or something or you know but again I want to help because I've been there before and so uh, somebody reached out to me just about a month ago and said hey are you still answering questions and just so you know I will always answer questions um, you know you can email me and I will put my email here and if you have more questions about you know what I went through and Dr. Galani who's amazing and my eye is I just had it so what's the date it's like May I don't know 8th something like that so I had it just about a month ago four weeks ago and I still talk to Annie and Lee and check in with them and uh my eye looks amazing I'm trying to think of how I can look to show you uh and I people would always ask me for before and after pictures and listen when you have this and you'll know again you'll identify if you have them that if I would be scrolling through my um, pictures on my phone, uh, it would give me anxiety if I ran across a picture because I used to take pictures and just look in the mirror and keep looking at them and stuff like that. So it would trigger something in me. So I never kept any pictures of my pings before. Because again, I, once it was over, I didn't want to deal with that. And it's funny now that I'm on my third one, um, I still have like a small one here and I'm going to get that done just because I want, it's really, I don't have dry eye anymore and um, the amniotic membrane helps with dry eye. Uh, so I just want to finish up and then I feel like, um, you know, I, I, I followed through on all of it. But anyway, um, so, uh, yeah, so, oh, I don't keep them on my phone, but when I was there this last time, uh, to see Dr. Galani, he had up my last surgery, which was this corner and he had the before and after. So I took a picture on my phone when he had it up on his computer and I will put that here. So you can see that, you know, it was inflamed. And it's funny because when I saw that picture, I didn't even think that it looked as bad when I was looking at it myself, it looked more yellow. And in there you can see all the red blood vessels. And he literally has to like cut that out from the core so that it doesn't grow back. And then he puts the amniotic membrane, he glues it over it, and then it just becomes, you know, you, it like takes six to eight weeks for it to completely heal. And then it's, you know, 
you, you, it's part of you. So, uh, and yeah, I printed out, I just printed out like definitions of what it was. And then I came across just happenstance. Can amniotic membrane be used for dry eye? And this lady had a question. This is from December 13th of 2020. Can amniotic membrane treatment be used for dry eye after you had cataract surgery? I had cataract surgery several years ago and I'll have debilitating dry eyes both over the counter and prescription didn't work. And that was my dry, nothing worked. Answer, yes, amniotic membrane graft using transplanted tissue to repair or heal surface of eye is a treatment for severe dry eyes. Um, so just so you know, it was doing double duty. Plus when I went to Dr. Galani the first time, he did the probing. So he opened my, uh, my uh, membranes and to let the tears come out. And then um, I got the plugs in the corner of my eyes and then with the amniotic grafts. And I can't tell you how life-changing it is to not have to constantly put drops in my eyes or wake up in the middle of the night with my eyes stuck together, um, even though I've been sleeping and I've had them closed. And so I just wanted to come on here because, uh, you know, Annie and Lee really you know, said tracing the video really helped. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have, you know, done this without knowing like your journey and been able to talk to you. Uh, again, I'm always willing to talk to people, send me an email. I always respond. Um, although somebody sent me an email and I meant to get to it and I accidentally deleted it and it's because I still think about it. And I was hoping, I think it was a he, and I was hoping that he would write me again. Uh, so if that's you and you're watching this, write me. I accidentally deleted it and I will definitely write you back. So, uh, okay, I wanted to make this kind of short and sweet, but I just wanted you to know if you're going through this, know too that, you know, you didn't do anything. You know, we always take this on and it's your eyes. So, you know, that when you talk to people, you know, you're looking in somebody's eyes, and um, most people aren't looking at that. We're just so hyper aware and hyper focused on it that we think that everybody is looking at it. And I'm saying this as being on the other side. I had such anxiety about it. I mean, hyper anxiety because it's all I thought about. Uh, but just know we're more, fo more focused on it than anybody else is, but I know how it feels and how you just wanna get it treated and go back to not even thinking about your eyes anymore, worrying about it or who's looking at it or, you know, stuff like that. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments below or email me and I'll be happy to answer. And Dr. Galani, I cannot say enough amazing things about him. And he doesn't just, you know, do pings and pterygiums and, you know, he does a no cut um, a PRK. He does everything, cornea, all this stuff. You can, you know, look him up at uh, Galani Vision in Jacksonville, Florida. I am so grateful that I found him and I told him, again, I can't thank him enough because, like I said, I feel like who I was before I even noticed my first pain. So, and that is a huge gift to me um, that I don't really think about anymore. But, Again, uh, I'll help you any way I can and answer any questions I can. And I hope this helped. And I'm hoping uh, they said that this video, you know, these helped. And, you know, I've had cystic acne. I was on Accutane twice back when I was like mm, 19 and 21, I think were the times. Uh, I had a year of infertility treatments. Uh, you know, I've actually... Um, been through a lot of things but like I said even with this if that's what I went through if I tell my story and that's what it was about and I came out and I help other people uh you know maybe find an answer for them or just help them feel better about it then then it was all worth it so uh I think I'm gonna do videos on those my cystic acne and uh my infertility journey so okay I hope you have a great day. I hope this helped for those of you who are looking for answers for this. And I'll see you in the next one.